to Diamond. Welcome back to being Tawana on YouTube. I appreciate you so much. Um, to all my people that are new, welcome. To everyone that has been here before, I love you and thank you. Uh, please subscribe, like, comment, and share. I would so appreciate it. And um, this is going to be a part of Therapy Thursday, definitely. Um, so I am still like getting my bearings with everything. Um, still getting used to the new job and all that. So it's just taking me a while to get, get back into a groove of things, but I'm going to get there. I promise you I will. Um, it's nighttime. I'm relaxing. I am drinking my ginger maple tea and my little Tokyo mug. So I really, really wanted to talk about this topic today because it has been on my mind since, since earlier today. So I was talking to uh, my man friend earlier, talking about relationships and how, you know, people that are together for a long time, whether you're in a marriage or some type of partnership or whatever, you know, you have different relationships within that one marriage or partnership, right? And sometimes one person isn't as giving or as loving or as accommodating as the other spouse, right? Or the other person. So... I know a person that has been in a relationship a very long time and their spouse um, has been able to um, get their education, move up the ranks, you know, they work a lot, not really present, not giving, not accommodating, um, not loving towards them. And it, it's making the relationship difficult and uh, making this person question if this is a relationship for them, right? And so I'm talking to my man friend about things and I, just, I said flat out, I said, you know, um, you know, money, money in a relationship, right? Money is important, but when a person, let's say the man makes six figures, does the woman also need to make six figures, right? And my man friend was kind of like, oh, well, you know, you know, maybe she was doing this because she felt the need to, to make the money. And I'm like, no, the money's there. The money's there, right? I don't make six figures. <laughs> um, but, you know, it's all about quality of life. I am learning that every day, especially with the job that I do. I learned how important at the end, especially, what life is really about, right? It's not about materialistic things. It's not about um, showing off and stunting and doing whatever else. It's not about that. It is about do you genuinely, wholeheartedly enjoy the person that you are tied to? What I said in my last video, but let me get back into this. So I said that black women are the most disrespected women in all of the races, okay? That's what I said, and I do stand by it, I do. Um, we get education, we get a lot of um, accolades that no one else can take from us uh, because we use our own, our own strength and, and gumption and determination to get it. But in that relationship department, I don't know. We, we, I don't think we're doing too good. And, and I'm talking from my own experience. So there, here we go. And so, you know, he's like, what do you mean? And I was like, okay, let me break it down for you. I have been in healthcare my whole adult career since I graduated from undergrad. Always been in healthcare in, in various forms. And what I see I do see women, you know, um, Caucasian women, um, Asian, Indian, you know, different races of women, they still go to school, you know, and they get their degrees, you know, maybe uh, their doctorate of, uh, you know, physical therapy, um, their master's in occupational therapy, um, ARNP, 
get their PA license, all this stuff. But while they're still going to school, they still go and get their mate. They get married, they have children, and they might stop working. They still have the degree, but they stop working. They have their children. And maybe when the kids get school age, you know, they might go back and do some PRN or cover a practice for two, three days out of the week, whatever. But their first priority is usually their, their marriage um, and their children. Whereas with black women, we, we have to get degrees as well, you know, but we're focused on the degree. We're focused on degree travel, um, you know, being the best you can, moving up the ranks. And I think that's what I suffered from a little bit, especially within the last position, last position that I had, excuse me. Um, the rat race and the comparison and this is what I'm doing and this is where I'm at and where are you and what do you who do you work for all this stuff and when I really thought about it I said I really don't care about any of this I don't I don't have anything to prove to anyone and I'm cool and I let go you guys saw me with that that's how I even started this channel I started this channel when I let go of all that BS that I was plugged into okay um so with that being said, you know, I was telling, you know, my man friend, I said, you know, I'm speaking off of what I see in my network and uh, the relationships that I've had professionally and personally, what I see, what I know. Um, I'm not using any numbers. I'm not going to look up anything. Um, not, not, I'm not doing that. So many other people do that. So many other channels. And if you want to look up something, you can Google it, you know, but I'm going off my experience and what I see and what I know for me. And that's what I've seen, you know, um, we struggle with that. We struggle with making our, I'm not saying we don't make our families first, because that's not true. I'm guilty of the getting the degree and, and trying to get the money and do all these things and having to work and raise children and try to be present for them, try to be present for myself, try to be supportive too. Um, my ex-spouse is Navy um, in the military. So trying to be supportive and do all these things and you cannot do it is difficult. It is difficult, right? And I said, the education makes you feel better, makes me feel better. It's like, oh, I've accomplished something. But when I think about, you know, when when, I don't want to say when the end comes, but the end will come, right? We all live, we all pass away. But when it comes, none of that is going to make me feel any better. I'm going to think back on my life and experiences. And years ago, I learned how to change how I remember dates and, and events. I used to always, well, I want to say at least maybe seven to eight years ago, I used to always think of events in terms of what was so bad, what was so negative that happened, i.e. Um, dad's death, this happened, or whatever. But I don't think about my life in that way anymore. I had to shift the way that I remember events by, oh, uh, my daughter graduated and this happened three days after she graduated, so I can remember said event. Um, that's what I like to remember my life now. I had to switch it from being negative to positive. And with that being said, it's the education and everything and all that is important, but it's all about, any, like I said in my last video, do you really genuinely wholeheartedly love and like who you're with? Is this person, does it, did they make you feel good? Do you feel good when you're with them? How is the energy? How is it all? How's it going? And if something is not working for you uh, in a relationship, you know, work on it. I think that is the first thing you should do. But if you work on it and it still is not, you know, being fruitful for you, move on, you know. Um, life is the longest thing that we will ever do right <laughs> this is it you got to make it count 
you got to make it count. And so in talking to him earlier, I'm just like, yeah, you know, it's important. You know, you, you want to feel appreciated. You want to feel loved. Um, you know, you want to come home and, and, and certain provisions and special, you know, um, trinkets or things or tokens of love or whatever are there waiting for you sometimes. You want that. Um, we all need that. It's so important. So with that, I am going to go. I'm going to finish drinking my tea. I'm going to um, relax a little bit before tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be a fresh and new day. should be uh, interesting again. And um, I hope you all enjoy your Thursday. All right. Be your best.